Welcome to Dr. Rajendran's Online Academy. The course title is Physical Chemistry. The specific topic is Thermodynamics. Today, we are going to learn about the state function and path function. Hello Mai. How are you? I am fine Uncle Raj. Are you ready to learn about state function? Yes, I am excited to learn that. State function is also called, state quantity and state variable. In thermodynamics, a state quantity is a property of a system that depends only on the current state of the system. Do not depend on the way in which the system acquired that state. A state function describes the equilibrium state of a system. Examples of the state quantity includes internal energy, enthalpy, and entropy. Because they describe quantitatively an equilibrium state of a thermodynamic system, irrespective of how the system arrived in that state. Let's learn this concept with specific and simple examples. In the first example shown in the screen, there are two paths, namely path A and path B, to raise the car from the first floor to the fourth floor. The ultimate goal is to park the car in the fourth floor. Let's consider whether the elevation gain is a state function or not. The elevation gain is the defined as the distance between the initial and final states. Here, the elevation gain is three floors which is exactly the same in both the cases. Therefore, elevation gain is path independent, meaning that no matter whether you choose path A or path B, you will end up with the same elevation gain. So, the elevation gain is a state function. The second example of state quantity that we are going to discuss is temperature. In this example, there are two paths. The path 1, involves the cooling of boiling water from 100 degrees Celsius to room temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. Whereas, the path 2 involves the melting of ice cubes and raising the resulting water temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. The processes in both the paths differ, that is the cooling in path 1 while melting in path 2. However, the final temperature of the water in beaker C is the same and is independent of the paths. Therefore, temperature is a path-independent quantity or it is a state quantity. In simple words, temperature depends only on the state of the system and do not depend on the path it taken to reach. Let's see one final example. In the path 1 the positive and negative poles of a battery are connected by a wire. In this case, the battery loses energy to the surroundings only as heat, and no work is performed. Whereas, in the path 2, the battery discharges through a motor, and loses energy as work, that is to make the fan turn, and also loses energy as heat. However, the amount of heat lost is much less than in path 1. Although, the energy lost in both the paths are the same, the amount of heat and work are different. Therefore, heat and work are path-dependent quantities. Being the same in both the paths, energy is a state quantity. Also, note that temperature is a state quantity, while heat is a path quantity. Alright, in the next class, we will learn state quantity, with more specific examples of chemical systems.